The last couple of months of summer here in Southwest Florida have been on fire in the spearfishing community, at least in mine, for giant hogfish. Hogfish are pound for pound the best eating fish in the Gulf of Mexico with zero bloodline. When you clean one of these fish, pure white fillets, flaky, mild fish, one of my favorite to eat. Very highly targeted fish in the Gulf of Mexico because of how perfect the fillets are. The quality of meat does not go down the bigger the fish gets. It all started out back in June when one of our buddies, Joe, shot a 31 plus inch hog fish. A couple of weeks after Joe shoots his, we're all back out and around 110, 115, James pops a 29 inch hog along with a big gag right back to back. Fast forward a couple of weeks after that and we're into mid-July. I pop a 30 plus inch hog, my personal best. And then the week after that, a friend of mine, Scott, goes out, pops one about the same size. And then that leads up to this last weekend when me and my buddy Steve went out and I'm gonna show you footage of this one that we got. It was a team effort. I plugged it, lost it. Steve was there to find it. It's funny how it worked out because for a solid 10 minutes, I know Steve was on cloud nine and thought that he had shot his personal best hog, but I already had a shaft in it. I just lost it because the visibility was pretty good but not the greatest. So I'm gonna show you video footage of what happened last weekend on my latest 30 and a half inch hogfish. I'm telling you, it's the year of the giant hog and it's pretty exciting. What is going on my friends? Mike here, Steve. What's going on? Mike's all excited because he thinks he found a new spot and we're gonna supposedly go shoot some big fish. Yeah. I say the odds are one in ten. Well Steve thinks there's a shark down there. So, there is. So he's 100%. a little he's a little scared. Shut up. <laughs> so all right, buddy. Visibility is pretty poor, I can tell you that right now. With a capital poopy. Yep. But we're gonna get suited up, get down the line, see if we can find something. All right, well, I'm gonna go down and set the anchor. I'm getting hot. All righty, and welcome underwater, everyone. The first thing that we normally do after we roll back is load our guns at the top of the water column before we head down the anchor line. Now, when you don't have anyone hanging out on top of the boat, it's really important to make sure that the anchor's set. That way, when you're done, your boat is still right there where you can get back in it. Alrighty, so now that we've set the anchor, we are heading over towards the ledge. Okay, so we're on the ledge and just kind of assessing the situation, looking around, seeing uh, what kind of fish are around, looking for big mangrove snapper underneath the ledges or any gags or hogfish that might be swimming around or patrolling the area. So I'm kind of looking around, uh, see a, about a 24, 25 inch red grouper hanging out there. So I go ahead and uh, pop him real quick and get him on the stringer. 24 inch red groupers are trying the eating size. So outside of that red grouper, there wasn't really a whole lot going on. So here's the second drop. Here's where I follow the big hogfish. I spot him, lining up on him, being really patient, trying to uh, get that perfect broadside shot. He turns, shows me his side, and that's where I put one in him. And right here, he just takes off. And somehow, with that 48 inch shaft in him, he just makes a beeline. And when I, th I really think that he goes straight and just keeps swimming. Um, look at Steve, I have no idea where he went. 
Um, he ended up tucking underneath that ledge, and I swam right over it, looking around. I saw a dust cloud right up here, thinking that he may have laid down and then burst it off again. So I followed the dust cloud in the trail. I uh, come up on some Goliath groupers, thinking maybe they snatched him up. So I'm shining a flashlight in their mouth, seeing if I see... Uh, a shaft laying around or sticking out of their mouth and that dude he's probably close to 200 pounds and he has uh, nothing going on with him so I keep looking around um, I double back to the same ledge thinking that maybe he's around there another 200 plus pound Goliath grouper doesn't have anything in his mouth he's not the culprit and then Steve shows up coming in clutch with my hogfish but he thinks that he shot it and found it um, until I come over pull my shaft out of it and then he starts to realize that uh, that he just cleaned up a fish that I had shot which is kind of funny um, a little bit heartbreaking for him but that's okay and after he finally uh, kind of realizes what's going on and kind of gets over that heartbreak, I come over and, uh, and grab the fish. It was definitely a team effort, though. Uh, really nice 30-plus inch hogfish. Give it a little uh, meat slap on the way up for old James heading up to the water line. So we made it back up to the water line and another downside of no one being in the boat is the fact that you have to kind of throw all your gear and your catch in the boat without handing it to somebody which can be a little bit of a task at times. But we want to get it out of the water, make sure there's no sharks that come up and try to steal it while uh, we're trying to exit the water up the ladder. But it was a successful dive. Steve's still uh, down on a safety stop, hanging out in the water column as I get up there, put it on ice. Steve gets back in the boat, get all the gear off, and uh, we check out this honey of a fish. Oh yeah. Team effort on this one, boys. What a awesome, awesome fish. Personally, I think my shot was better. <laughs> what you should do is head over to my buddy Steve's channel, Vanderbend Wildlife. He's a catch, clean, and cook guy. He's always posting videos, way more consistent than me. It doesn't matter what it is, anything sea life, anything hunting, the dude's a cowboy. Check him out at Vanderbans Wildlife on YouTube. And go give him a follow and tell him Mike sent you. This summer is shaping up to be the year of the giant hogfish. 